everybody, Alicia here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to toggle labels with parameter actions. We got 360 seconds to get it done, so let's do this. All right, what we have here is a way to be able to toggle our labels on and off. We have a parameter here, but we're not using a parameter action. So let's take a look at what that would look like if we instead did this with parameter actions. Look at that! Lots of other options that we can do here when we use parameter actions. So how did we get that done? Let's take a look. What we wanna do first is we wanna create our chart that has all of our labels on it, and we're actually gonna do some sheet swapping. So they've got one version of our chart with labels on and one version without. So a really easy way to do that is just to duplicate this sheet. This is gonna be my demo sheet with no labels. And then what I'm gonna do is take those labels off. So I'll open up each of the marks cards here and take off those labels. Now with that in place, the next step is to create a parameter. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the drop down here. My parameter is going to be asking the person, which version of chart do you want? The one with the labels or the one without? I'm gonna make this a string data type. I'm gonna use my list for the available values. And then I'll have two options here with labels and without labels. All right, so that's it to the parameter. Click OK. Now we're gonna create a calculated field. And in this calculated field, I'm going to use that parameter. So again, this is going to be determining which version of chart they wanna see. I'm just gonna include that parameter that I just created. That's it, that's all there is to this calculated field is to pop that parameter in there. Click OK. Now what I'm gonna do is show that parameter control. And now I'm going to drag that field to filters and I'm going to select, yes, this is the worksheet with labels, click OK. I'm gonna change that parameter control to without labels, click on the other worksheet that doesn't have the labels, and again, now drag that field to filters and select without labels. All right, so that's in place. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna create those buttons that we're gonna click on to be able to have that option to be able to have labels or no labels. To do that, we actually need to create and connect to a new data source. This data source is gonna look something like this. You can use an Excel file. You're not actually gonna join this to your data. You're not gonna union it. You're not gonna blend it, which is kind of amazing. We're just going to create a quick little data source. I've got my field for toggle option. I'm gonna use the same values that I had in my parameter of with labels and without labels. And then X and Y coordinates, that's just gonna dictate where the buttons sit on my dashboard. So a big thank you to Kevin Flairledge for this idea of being able to just connect to a new data source to get that done. So I'm going to start a new worksheet. I've got my other data source here, that toggle option data source. Now what I'm gonna do is drag my X value to columns, my Y to rows, and I'm gonna drag my toggle option field to the shape marks card. And I already have this set up from a previous worksheet, so I'm just gonna increase the size of that. You know, with these, I just created them in PowerPoint, no big deal, and saved them out as a picture. And then I was able to add those to my Tableau repository and then be able to add them as a shape. Now what I wanna do is get rid of these headers, so I'll right click on both of those. And I'm gonna actually copy over the formatting from the other worksheet so I can get rid of all those lines really quickly and easily. So this is gonna be my toggle. We have all three pieces now. We can build a dashboard, bring them all together. So I'm going to change the width to 700 by 500. Now the first thing I wanna do is add in a vertical object because I'm going to use sheet swapping and that's the way that we're able to swap out each sheet and be able to have it appear to be all in the same place. I'm gonna add my all labels worksheet in there. I'm gonna add my no labels worksheet. Make sure that it goes inside the same container. That's really important. I'm going to hide my titles and I'm gonna get rid of that parameter because we don't need that control because we're gonna add our own in with our little toggle here for using parameter actions. I'm gonna add that to the very top, not inside the container. Again, I can get rid of that legend. I can get rid of this title. I'm actually gonna add some text here just to give people the option. Which version do you want? So that is the instructions that we can give people. Maybe make that a little bit bigger, darker, bolder. There you go. All right. And then we'll just resize that a little bit. So at this point, actually another thing I am remembering that I want to do is I don't want these tool tips here, right? That's no good. So I'm gonna go back to my toggle worksheet here, turn off those tool tips, just uncheck that. Now I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. 
nothing's happening, right? We're not gonna have that change. The parameter action has not been implemented yet. So we're gonna go to dashboard and actions. Now we're gonna add a new action, change the parameter. This is going to be my uh, version action. And I'm gonna do this specifically on my toggle source sheet. My target parameter is gonna be that one I created. That's gonna be a string parameter, remember? because that's what's gonna enable that toggle option field to come up. If you use a Boolean parameter in this place, instead of string, you're not gonna have that field uh, option come up. Ask me how I know that, ha ha, because I tried it and it didn't work. So here we go, click OK. Now our parameter action is going to work and it's going to show the labels when we click on those buttons. But do you notice how we have this dimming of the other button? That's kind of annoying, right? How do we get rid of that? really easily. I'm gonna go back to my toggle worksheet. I made a calculation called true. This is a little trick that I learned from Luke Stanky. So create a calculation called true. All you type in it is true. Make sure that's in that worksheet. Drag that to detail. And now I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. And now what I'm gonna do is add a highlight action. And we'll do that. We'll make sure that the highlight action happens on the toggle worksheet for the source and the target. And then the other thing I wanna do is for my target highlighting, I'm going to select the selected field and select true and click okay, click okay again. And now we no longer have that annoying dimming happening when we click on each button, but our parameter action is working as expected. So there you go, a couple of different steps there to be able to make that happen, to use parameter actions to be able to toggle the labels on and off in your worksheets. So I hope that was helpful to you. Please let us know if you have any questions, but thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.